for the all-time junglers in League of Legends, I really admired and uh, was looking up to Diamond Prox. He was a really like innovator. He brought new picks uh, with the aggressiveness to the jungle, counter jungle. His mechanics were insane. He was just destroying everyone. And like in international tournaments, he was not scared at all. Diamond Prox leading the charge under tower here. And he actually impacted me a lot that I wanted to copy his place and get close to it. I was new to the game, so I just watched competitive like whenever I could. I was like, wow, this guy is really good. I'm gonna be like him. I started playing in season two. At first, I looked up to Meteos a lot when he was kind of the star player of C9 and season three, I think. Because he was very, very efficient with how he played jungle. He would always have like CS lead and come out strong in team fights, and then they would just roll over enemy teams. Right now, I'm a big fan of Chaser and Bengi. Chaser, his mechanical skill and his decision making, and Bengi, just decision making. Bengi is really good. Like, he knows when his lane is about to get ganked and he sacrifices his farm to help the lane, basically, which is kind of interesting to counter gank him. And Chaser is like a carry, like, he knows how to carry the game. And he's really good at rotations. I wouldn't want to play against him. Yeah, I really looked up to Jankos because he was seen as the, like top one jungler in Europe, or maybe top two. And I really liked how he played because he was really smart and not just the mechanics. So he had everything I wanted. I have no flaws. I'm playing the game at the highest level. <laughs> no, okay, so um, when I started playing, I would look up to St. Vicious or like Diamond maybe a bit. But uh, then at some point, I believe I was much better than them. So I didn't look up to like them that much, you know. And I was trying to like, look up to the Korean players that were like good back then. I've always thought uh, Dandy was pretty good in Season 4. The only jungler that really ever impressed me quite a bit. Like, he worked really well with his support and just gank-wise and pathing-wise. I felt he was like one of the best, probably the best at the time. And, uh, I thought he was pretty good. I always had some trouble playing against him. In Season 4 against Dandy at Worlds, I actually managed to somehow get somewhat close to his level, uh, get on the Korean jungle level to a certain extent, but never managed to catch up completely because he was just another beast. He was basically the best jungle that I've ever played against and I've never even like thought that someone could be that good.